Tonight on The Andy Zorg Show, we talk Donald Trump, E. coli, and where college students get upset over nothing. Literally nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Thank you and welcome to the Andy Zorik Show. The only show on YouTube that already put a $50 bet on Batman v Superman. <laughs> I am the aforementioned Andy Zorik, and this is our top story. Wait, really? Is there no other news this week that isn't Trump? <laughs> the Heisman? Yeah, yeah, but Zeke didn't get an invite to New York, so that's kind of disappointing. Okay, our top story. Wait. How long till the 2016 election? It's not even 2016 yet? <laughs> All right, fine. Our top story is Donald Trump. This week, Donald Trump made controversial remarks. Is that even news anymore? <laughs> the Donald said that he would stop all Muslim immigration. He then tried to justify his stance by citing similar actions taken by Jimmy Carter. How do I explain this? Um, for those of you who don't remember, Jimmy Carter sucked. <laughs> Any presidential candidate citing Jimmy Carter is like someone blowing a job interview by citing Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Donald Trump also said he wants to ask Bill Gates on how to shut down parts of the internet to fight ISIS. Hey, wait, wh wh where'd I get? Wh what's going on here? Oh, oh. Give us back internet, we give you fake funny newsman. Also, here is captioned picture of Vice President of Great Satan. <laughs> then video of opinionated cat. I love opinionated cat! She always right! Much funnier than grumpy cat. <laughs> hey Mo. How do we fight ISIS? <laughs> this week, students at a small Pennsylvania college are demanding administrators rename a building called Lynch Memorial Hall because of the racial overtones of the word Lynch. The building is named after Clyde A. Lynch, who was president of Lebanon Valley College from 1932 until his death in 1950. Other words the students want renamed include linchpin, bushes, Indian summer, black tie, and white boots. An article in Bloomberg this week calls 2015 a breakthrough year in artificial intelligence. That's an encouraging sign given what's going on in the presidential election, we're losing signs of actual intelligence. 52 people across nine states now have contracted E. coli. The infection has been traced back to each of them eating at a Chipotle restaurant recently, prompting the popular chain to rename itself Chipotle Cooli. <laughs> Slow news week, I know. Uh, not much to work with, so uh, Kim Kardashian and her husband, Mr. Kim Kardashian, revealed their baby's name this week. The name is Why Are You Still Watching This Trash? <laughs> In an interview this week, Nicki Minaj said she's not convinced Hillary Clinton should be president. On a related note, after hearing her songs, I'm not sure Nicki should be in music. <laughs> this week, Amazon Prime introduced one-hour alcohol delivery. I gotta say, I love this service. ABC News is reporting that ISIS now has a passport printing machine. However, much like the U.S. Post Office, ISIS passports can only be ordered on Saturday between 10 and noon or by appointment. <laughs> and now, here's a craft beer of the week. <laughs> Welcome back. Last week, I talked about scientists adding chemicals to the air to stop global warming. I called it a plot out of a Saturday morning cartoon, 
As it turns out, this is exactly the setup for the movie Snowpiercer, where the chemicals worked so well they brought on a global ice age. So yes, this is a very bad idea. And you know the science is sound because the movie has a 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Anthony on Facebook really enjoyed the Spider-Man cartoon in the background. But I don't think you were paying attention to what was going on up here. <laughs> Mario wants to be sure no animals were harmed in the Black Friday videos. Honestly, I don't know. Because I'm not sure everyone in those videos can be considered human. <laughs> be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Andy Zorick. Talk about the show using the hashtag Andy Zorick Show. On Friday, I'll be doing two videos reviewing Star Wars The Force Awakens. Next week is our big Christmas Spectacular. It's real and it's spectacular. <laughs> and, until then, I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. Good night. show on YouTube. Mom, do you need to go upstairs? Alright, you're not being quiet on the set. <laughs>